Hello my friends and welcome back to Romanian language step by step with Laura, Limba Romana Pascopas. Cu Laura, I'm glad to be back here. I hope you are too. Um, and I'm going to last time we spoke about um, Romania things um, a, a few things about Romania, a few famous Romanians and also a few um, places worth uh, visiting. I'm going to talk a little bit more today about places worth visiting because I love my country and I want everybody to go and see it. And also um, I'm going to talk a little bit about other things um, in regards to Romania. Um, last time we also talked about what we learned, um, a few vowels. We're going to finish learning the vowels today and we learn a few consonants. Um, also, last time we learned, I think, how to greet, how to say um, good day, good morning and good evening. Uh, we're going to uh, revise this quickly and then learn a few more ways to greet. And we're going to learn how to introduce ourselves and how to say welcome. Okay, um, right, let's go to uh, business. <laughs> Right, um, you know, I, I talked about beautiful Danube Delta last time and about uh, the seaside, the Romanian seaside, Black Sea. Well, uh, these are not the only places that I'm very proud of. Another one is the Romanian mountains, which are absolutely fantastic. Um, the Carpathian, Carpathian mountains lie in the center yeah, of Romania and they are the um, that's one of the sites. They are the third uh, longest uh, mountain um, ranks in Europe after the Ural Mountains and the Scandinavian Mountains. Um, the highest peak, I think, is Moldoviano Peak, which with 2,455 meters, if I'm right. <laughs> uh, I haven't been there so high, but I've been climbing mountains, not the highest ones, and I can tell you it's it's absolutely fantastic, it's breathtaking. But on the other hand, you could be one of those people who like traveling but not necessarily nature, um, so maybe you are into visiting uh, cities, and one of the cities that I would absolutely recommend anyone is um, to see is Sigishwara, which is a picturesque medieval town. Okay, and if you do decide to visit Romania, after my recommendations, or maybe you just decide to visit it, or maybe you've got friends there, um, try our traditional food, which is considered tasty by ourselves, by, Romanian, by Romanians, but not only. I think almost all people who tasted it said, oh, that's nice. <laughs> um, it has influences from the Greek and the Bulgarian cuisine, so you, you may know these. Um, and maybe that that's how I can make, convince you to, to try Romanian cuisine. Um, I would recommend, if you're not a vegetarian, of course, I'd recommend um, a Romanian Tokitura Moldovenească or Dobrojana, which has a lot of pork <laughs> and sausages, and Romanian polenta and um, used cheese, very tasty, um, but it's a bit fattening, I have to admit. Also, tasty but fattening, <laughs> but tasty, most of all. Um, sarmale, um, which is stuffed cabbage or vine um, with rice and mince, um, mince meat, um, which go very well with mamaliga and smantena, which is um, cream. Both these courses go really, really well with our one of our Romanian wines, um, not necessarily this one, which are unfortunately not enough appreciated at the moment. Right, let's forget about food, because some of us may be hungry and go to really uh, go to real work. Uh, last lesson, uh, lesson two, we learned the vowels a, e, e, i. O, U, how to greet, how to say good morning, buona dimineața, how to say good day or good afternoon, buona ziua, and how to say good evening, buona seara. I hope you remember that. Okay, uh, today we are going to learn a few more sounds. One of them is the consonant, consonant U, 
which in my opinion is the most difficult difficult one to learn for a foreigner. U. In un, which is in, muna, and akoboru, to get off, luna, um, among other things. Well, specialists say it is pronounced midway between the long E in keep and long U in moon. Don't know if that helps, but anyway, here it is, U, which has two ways of writing this letter and this letter, U, uh, U. Uh. Um, this one is at the beginning at, and, and at the end of the word, and the other one is in the middle of the word. Um, three consonants today, B, as in banana. I hope everybody understands that it's about banana. Bunik, which is grandfather. And it is pronounced almost the same um, as the English B in bag or bottle. Then the Romanian K in a kauta, which means to look for, and the name Christ Christina. Yeah. Um, sort of the English, sort of the same as the English K in cat act. And then the um, consonant D in da, yes, and difficil, which means difficult, of course. Um, which is almost the same as the English do in doctor. We have doctor actually, the Romanian one, and dangling. Okay, and these is in this is in terms of Romanian sound. U. Where are you? Uh, U, B, K, D. All right. I promised you that we're going to learn other ways of greeting, namely how to say good night. Okay? Noapte bună. Noapte bună. Noapte bună. Okay? Good night. Noapte bună. If we want to wish somebody a good day, we can say o zi Buna. Notice it's very similar with uh, Buna Ziwa, only the places are reversed. Okay, and we've got the article O. O zi Buna. O zi Buna. Okay, and I also promised you that we learn how to say bye informally. Pa. Pa. Pa pa. Okay. Good. Now, if you are host, hosts or hostesses, or maybe you are guests, you may welcome people or you may be welcomed by people by being said or by saying Bine ați venit. Welcome. Bine ați venit. Bine ați venit. Bine ați venit. If you are the guests, okay, you may want to reply nicely. Bine vam găsit. Bine vam găsit. Which literally means, um, I hope, sort of, I hope I found you well. Yeah, but it would be roughly translated as nice to see you again. Okay. Bine ați venit. Bine Good, so we learned how to welcome and how to reply if we are the ones that we are welcome. Okay, now, last but not least, very important, how to introduce ourselves. Manumesc Laura. Manumesc Laura. I am named Laura. My name is Laura. Okay. I am La, L, uh, Laura, eu sunt Laura. Okay, so we've got two ways. Yeah? Mă numesc Laura and eu sunt Laura. My name is versus uh, I am. Okay, so we can say our names from now on. Mă numesc Laura. Okay, mă numesc or eu sunt. 
also we can go a step forward okay if we know uh, if we meet new people and say nice to meet you okay how do we say that Încântat de cunoștință. Încântat de cunoștință. Or, actually, in my case, because I'm a female, I would say Încân... Încântată de cunoștință. Okay? Încântată de cunoștință. So, a male, a gentleman, would say Încântat de cunoștință. A female, a lady, um... A girl would say încântată de cunoștință. Right. So, we may say that and if we, if somebody else says that, we can reply by saying asemenea. Asemenea, which would mean sort of uh, same here. Okay? So, încântat or încântată de cunoștință, which means nice to meet you or pleased actually to meet you and the reply asemenea încântată de cunoștință asemenea okay so to revise very quickly we introduce ourselves by saying mă numesc or eu sunt mă numesc Laura or eu sunt Laura Nice to meet you, încântat or încântată de cunoștință. Okay? Same here, asemenea. Okay? When we greet, when we meet new people. All right. Welcome. Bine ați venit. The reply is, bine v-am găsit. A good day. O zi bună. Or have a good day. O zi bună. Bye, pa. And finally, good night, noapte bună. Okay, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. La revedere. If you liked this, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like the page, um, like the video, uh, maybe even add one, subscribe. And if you'd like some more um, materials, some more promotion materials, visit my uh, page um, to which I'll provide the link below. Bye bye, papa, la revedere, don't forget to do your homework and see you again next time. Pa, la revedere.